Hi, it's Regina Huber from Transform Your Performance. And today I'm here to talk about empowering self and showing up as a leader to increase our impact. Your impact is a result of your unique brilliance, your competence, self-empowerment, and self-leadership. It's a result of trust building, inspiration of self and others, and a bunch of other things. Also, most of the time, impact doesn't happen without taking risks. So let me tell you a story about risk. There's a woman I know who lived on five continents. The first time she moved abroad was with a global consulting firm, but she didn't always move with a job. Sometimes she moved to another continent with just a dream in her pocket. Oh well, and also a little cash because she needed an investor's visa and that doesn't happen without cash. So in 2005, she left her well-paying job in California to open a bed and breakfast in Buenos Aires, Argentina. She found a house for it, but buying it was quite a bit more adventurous than she first thought. She had to pay for it in dollar notes. And that meant that she had to transfer all her dollars to the seller's bank. She didn't have a car. And so on a hot summer day in Buenos Aires, uh, because she couldn't think of a better option, she found herself carrying several hundred thousand dollars across the city of Buenos Aires in her socks from one bank to the other. One wrong move and all her savings could have been gone. And these were savings she had worked for for 17 years. So why on earth would she take such a big risk? Well, she figured that when we want something really bad, we sometimes got to take a risk. This woman was me. Now, I have taken many risks in my life, and I'm not suggesting you have all the adventurous experiences that I've gone through. But one thing is for sure. Safety thinking will likely not cut it if you want to live a purpose-filled life. Because sometimes for that, you got to take a risk. So today I want to talk about women and how brilliant and amazing we women are and how many times we feel small and we feel like we're not heard or like we want to speak up but we can't somehow. And we're playing way smaller than we really are. This often happens when we negotiate for a salary or a raise, or when we let an opportunity slip away because we think we don't fulfill all the requirements for it, when in reality, we don't always have to know it all beforehand, especially not in our careers, because if we had all the experience listed for a promotion we want, then it wouldn't be a position we can grow in, right? But we don't apply uh, because we don't think we're enough. Or we don't dare show up as an entrepreneurial leader or as a speaker because we somehow think we are not good enough for that. And we get frustrated because we feel invisible. We are overlooked for promotions and other opportunities and our brilliance and our genius is not being acknowledged. And so we're not seen for our value. But the truth is, we if we don't fully acknowledge our value and really own it, why would others recognize it? So here's the thing. We must figure out what our distinctive uniqueness and our unique brilliance is, what our value is, and then really own it. And then I always hear women say, oh, but what if I don't have a role model? No one like me has ever done this before, or no other woman has ever done this before. And I say, F it. You don't need a role model. You're one of a kind. Your path is absolutely unique. Your life is unique. And you came to this earth with a purpose that's yours. You came to make a very specific impact, not just any impact and not anyone else's impact. You know, in podcast interviews, I'm often asked, 
who my role model is. And in the past, I struggled with this question because I never had a role model. So I never had an answer for this question. But now I no longer struggle with the question because I know I don't need a role model. And you don't either. So this inspirational message is all about bringing out you, distinctly you, owning your value, showing your brilliance and truly rising in your career, in your business, being completely fulfilled, limitless, in fact. Are you ready for that? I know you are. So what's that one step that you can take today to own the role you came here to play? Or even better, to own that potential that's inside of you and that's only waiting to jump into the open and to be seen. Show it to the world. The world needs you and we are waiting. <laughs>